Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven, and in today's video, I would like to show you how to translate a site, translate a page into multiple languages. Uh, let me explain to you uh, the situation, the use case. So by default, when you create a site, uh, it is obviously created in the default uh, language of your organization. So for example, if uh, um, you know, I'm based in US, obviously, so obviously it's in English, uh, but if um, the company is based in uh, France, then obviously the default language will be French. But let's say you are, um, you know, kind of a global organization, um, again, use case, I'm based, you know, the company is based in US, but maybe has offices in Canada, so we need kind of a French version or uh, offices in Spain, France, Germany, in other, way, in other words, uh, we need the site uh, to be translated into multiple languages. Um, so that's exactly what I'm going to show you. Uh, for this example, I'm going to use this employee resources communication site. By the way, the instructions are identical between communication sites and team sites. All right, so if you need to translate a team site, it's exactly the same steps. So here's how you do it. Uh, first thing you need to do, you need to enable alternate languages. And to do that, you just click the, uh, you know, the gear icon, uh, site information. We need to go behind the scenes, view all site settings. And under site administration, you're going to find language settings. And um, essentially, it's telling me here uh, what we already know. This site is, um, you know, primary language is English. We're going to enable alternate languages, and you can select from the list. But let me just, uh, for example, choose French. Let's say we have uh, an office, um, uh, you know, in Canada, uh, in Quebec, or something. So we need uh, some of those uh, elements to be translated to French language. Uh, so I'm going to click Save. Uh, just like that. And uh, now the next step would be for us to uh, provide the translation. <clears throat> now, um, just to kind of show you uh, what the next step sign, what happens behind the scenes. So to kick off the translation, you need to click on the translation button. And essentially, uh, again, it's telling us the primary language is English. Uh, and we uh, also need a French version of it but we did not start the uh, translation yet. So we need to create, uh, create the French version of the page. Now we can click view here, all right? So we can click view and see uh, the French you know, version of the page. Here is the URL address, all right? Uh, but just to kind of uh, explain to you what's, uh, you know, what's happening here, let me go behind the scenes. So to go behind the scenes, we go to gear icon, site content, site pages, and look what happens. So uh, when I created the site, it obviously created the default homepage, but then once I enabled the French language, all right, on my site, it created a folder with uh, the abbreviation. And essentially, this is a French version of the page, right? So if you need to uh, go to that page, you just uh, click on it. And again, you can see it even in the URL. It resides in this uh, French subfolder. Now, a couple of more things. So uh, how do we translate the page into uh, French? So first of all, all the system kind of labels, right? I'm talking about all of those system labels. Um, that are kind of um, created by Microsoft 365, uh, they are translated automatically into French language. Obviously, all the content you create on the page, you know, all the different labels, news and announcements, you know, text, whatever you add here, uh, you will need to provide uh, translation into that language. So, um, how do we translate uh, the site, you know, I'm sorry, the page into a different language? Well, there are two ways for you to do so. So here I am again uh, on employee resources, you know, site. Uh, all right. Uh, and because I obviously enabled another language, I can pick and choose. So I'm going to go to French version of the page again. Again, it's just a separate page. That's all it is. And um, from here, I can just edit and uh, start the translation. Uh, let me show you another uh, way, another way to translate the page. Let's say, and most likely that's the use case, you might have another individual within your organization 
who is responsible maybe for all the translations. So in this case, what you need to do is uh, navigate back to site information, site settings. By the way, um, uh, you know, we can also provide alternate, uh, you, know, um, you know, descriptions and, uh, you know, titles um, uh, for the site itself in here as well. Uh, but we have the page translation. So uh, let's click fuel site settings again. We go back to language settings. And remember when I enabled uh, multiple languages and added French, we can actually choose a translator, all right? And what happens here, so uh, I'm going to pick Mary, all right? Because Mary knows both languages. And I pick Mary, all right, and click Save. And what will actually happen, uh, an email will be sent to Mary with a link to this page, and it will ask Mary to translate the page. All right, it will ask Mary to translate the page. So uh, let's pretend Mary does her thing and translates the page. Uh, she will then, of course, you know, uh, publish the page. All right, so the uh, French uh, version of the page will be published. And that's pretty much it. Now, you might be wondering, uh, you know, how does the system know, right? Because obviously, if um, um, I, I, I am an English, uh, you know, come from an English speaking country, uh, we want it in English, but let's say somebody logs in from uh, French Canada or France, and we want them to see the French version of the page. Let me tell you how this works. So first of all, uh, the users will always be able to manually switch the languages, but they don't have to. Uh, the language displayed uh, comes from the user's account. Uh, so every single user uh, can actually specify their primary language. And if I'm not mistaken, it's actually set up over here under settings and privacy. And this is where you set your languages, all right? So uh, obviously, if the user uh, lives in, uh, let's say, French-speaking country, they would um, add, you know, uh, French as preferred language. And that's pretty much it. Uh, once the user, um, you know, logs in from, you know, with their uh, login credentials, uh, the system will automatically know that their primary language is, in, is French, and it will actually actually display the French, uh, you know, page to them, not the English one. So that's all there is to it. Uh, again, nice and easy. Essentially, uh, you just enable uh, multiple languages, you know, translate the pages and uh, just have to make sure that the users specify the correct you know, primary language in their account settings. And uh, by the way, again, uh, this works the same way on Steam sites as well. So that's all I wanted to show you in this quick video. Hopefully, you learned something new. As always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com. And thank you for watching. Goodbye.